Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and welcome to the very first episode of what will hopefully be an ongoing series in which I play Minecraft Hardcore Mode, and so we're about to start a new game here today. Um, this is uh, sort of an in-response series to challenges from the Polycraft crew, um, specifically one member of the Polycraft crew, um, who challenged me to, mm, let's say, outperform him in terms of our ability to survive in hardcore mode. So, with that in mind, I have made my world seed more hardcore than dusky. So, we will find out whether or not I am, in fact, more hardcore than dusky. Which, you know, I mean, we, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I think we are just about ready to go. I'm gonna hit the just the timer real quick so that I can remember to make cuts timer on my phone and let's go ahead and create a new world see what kind of world we end up in and I am doing this on the latest snapshot build so there is a possibility that things could go wrong in some way shape or form but um, okay, alright, I see ocean, I see trees, okay, and you know, I might have to, you know, actually, let's turn down the graphics to fast, because we're recording, we're doing all these things at once, we don't need it to look fancy, who cares, fancy graphics, schmancy graphics, you know, if I, things perform okay, maybe I'll turn it back up, but I think for right now, actually let's see what our, also, what our render distance is. We shouldn't be wasting time with this, but... <laughs> render distance, 8 chunks. Oh man, they've changed all this since the last time I played. Uh, so, I really don't even know. Eh, we'll just go with it. I don't worry about that. By the time we get to the, you know, you'll see how long we last before we start messing with stuff like that. Okay, so, what I want to do right away is get whole bunch of wood and I saw a pig close by that's a pretty good thing basically what I want to try to do is get a shelter going right away and get a sustainable food source going um, absolutely as soon as I possibly can um, okay just a little bit more here pick up like 12 16 pieces of wood here should be a good start and we'll kind of survey our situation. Okay, that's good. 15 pieces. Oh, I saw an apple. Where did that apple go? Really need that. Okay, so we're kind of on a cliff. Hmm. And the other thing I want to be doing is collecting seeds so that any moment we want we can start a farm. Uh, okay, so, 16, 17, we'll do one more, 18, okay, press E, open up that inventory, oops, that's a good start, right? Uh, we'll do that, I'm a little rusty in Minecraft, I haven't played in, uh, really a couple months now, so, and this is without any kind of, uh, I can't remember how to do all the little tricks and stuff. Okay, so now we need a sword. Oh, we need a pick. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we'll do a spade just because we know we'll need it, and we'll do some of that. Okay. Well, alright, we got at least a pick to start. And a bunch of sticks, some of that. Alright, let's pick this up, and I saw a little rocky outcrop just above the water over there. Let's head over there and get some quick cobble. Jump down. Whee! Um, yeah, it looks like a nice spot. How much time are we looking at in terms of till nightfall? Ah, that's some of the new uh, uh, new blocks I haven't really seen yet before. Same with that. I wonder what that, that, what that is there. I don't really remember what the names are. Okay, let's just get a whole bunch of cobble here. And I think what we could actually do is start a little kind of cave area, like a cave base, right here. 
Yeah, this this could work out quite nicely. We can sort of make a little hole in the wall. And uh, we're kind of protected from most most sides here. A um, little bit of risk of having a creeper drop down on top of us or something like that, but um, I think for a first night shelter, this could possibly be suitable. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to avoid having to cower away in a hidey hole on the first night. If I could just, if I happen to be close to some sheep, that could be a possibility, but time is of the essence here. You want to get as well established in terms of materials and all that stuff as we can. And we really need to get some food and plant at least a little bit if we can. Okay. All right. So now that we've got this, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Okay. Man, I am really rusty at just the whole... Ugh. I might die very quickly here. Okay, first let's get a pick. Better pick and a better sword. Let's get two of those going, actually, because we'll probably need another one. And we'll do a shovel as well. Okay. We'll do a couple of those. And one more pick. Okay. Now then, we need a furnace. And let's get that down and start smelting. How do I do that again? Ah, yes. So we'll smelt that, and then we'll go back and get some more trees and some food here. Hopefully we can find a... Actually, one thing I wanted to start doing... Even though it's just one seed, one seed is something. Start a little kind of ad hoc type form situation. Okay. Yeah, with one seedling is not going to... Oh, good, a chicken. Okay. Maybe we want to try to not kill the chicken right away. If we can somehow uh, avoid doing that. It's much, much better if we can start just the chicken farm up right away. Okay. Collecting seeds is not that interesting to watch, but it's got to be done. And I should make a note of approximately where we are. Alright, it's in the video for later when we need that. Okay. It's four seeds, so when they all grow, it'll be enough to make one piece of bread. I shouldn't be even sprinting at this point. Just gonna end up in trouble. Okay. Okay. And we can even do this. Kinda doing this sort of deal. And now, okay, we've got at least a food source going to some degree. Something's in the works, anyway. This is kind of a rough area to be in. Ah, uh, you know, the one thing I didn't make was a uh, axe. And we have about two or three minutes left before nightfall. little bit rusty in Minecraft these days. Okay, these sticks, and do, and, okay, now we have some light, Yeah, we don't need, we really need one for now. Gonna need to conserve a little bit. Now what is this stuff? What is it good for? It's just decorative, right? Granite. Well, 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. And I should actually let's get some of these guys going on close to our little hidey hole. Up there. Yikes, I gotta turn my mouse sensitivity down, I think. Yeah. Okay. There's another chicken. We might need to kill these pigs. I'm more comfortable with killing the pigs than the chickens because the chickens we can use, we'll need them later for arrows and stuff. Um, they're just overall kind of more useful. Especially because they drop eggs and so it's easy to breed, breed more of them. Pigs, I don't really care for pigs all that much. I'd much rather have cows around so I can get the leather armor, use leather for... I don't know, there's really not that many other uses, but... Ow. Yeah, get that going. Okay. So now I should go cook this. Get this cooked up. Uh, let's... Well, let's save that charcoal and... I don't know how many of that pieces that's going to be able to cook, really. Let's use this granite for something. Okay. Just getting ourselves established a little bit. Okay, so now we have a fort. Oh, perfect. Okay. Some real close. Good stuff. I'm just going to pause really quickly here in a second and make sure my stream is actually still going. Let's see. Is it going? Hmm. Seems like seems like it is. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Yeah, it seems like it is. All right, and we're quickly approaching nightfall. Let's see what other resources can we gather in our couple minutes here. <sighs> Not even a couple minutes, a couple seconds. Before things start to get a little dangerous. You know, I like this little island island right here in the middle. That could make a good fort kind of area. Looks easily to fortify. Um, so that might be a possibility for us. And let's torch up a little bit of the area around here. Okay, I don't get any mobs in our immediate vicinity. Be one right about there. Okay. Now we're out of wood. So that means we can't get any more torches for the time being. Uh, so that's going to make things a little bit difficult here. We got one pork chop. Let's eat that. Well, we can at least start. Hmm. Man, should try to at least try to get some more wood. I bet I, I bet I'll be okay here. Uh, even just a few pieces would be very helpful. Mm, 
not in too much danger on the first night, really. Oh, I heard something. It sounded like something walking around near me. Maybe I'm just making myself scared, though. a source of sugar nearby, which is nice. And so let's Twenty-eight is a good start, I think. And let's cook up the rest of those guys. And start mining down a little bit. Try to see if we can find some iron and stuff. A cave. What kind of biome are we in? Extreme hills, which is good. Tends to be lots of good stuff in the extreme hills. we'll come across some iron. Whoa, don't dig straight down. Come on. This is Minecraft 101 right here. What is that? Yeah, I it's going to take a little bit of getting used to that material there. I don't even know what you're supposed to... Can you craft anything with it? What is it, what is it good for? Hills. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Mm, that's always annoying. Can't wait to get those out of the way. Jump correctly. Alright. Almost done. <laughs> ba -ba. And we need a chest. We can't afford to. Oh, I have a little bit here. Okay. Let's make a chest out of that. Put down our. That. That. Okay. Mm -mm I like to keep lots of extra tools. This is sort of one of my things about. I don't know. My ways of playing Minecraft, whatever style you want to call it. Um, I like to have lots of extra tools at my disposal. And ideally, I mean, lots of extra other supplies too. Um. Because um, one of the things that I get tired of a, a lot is running out of materials to to make new tools and having to, especially when mining, having to like end up coming up to the surface because I don't know you forgot to bring wood or something like that. And you end up wasting a lot of time going back and forth, you know. I'm just gonna make sure that my, uh, it's recording, right? I think it is. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't really check things before I started, so. I'm a little bit nervous that something's not working right. But it says we're recording, and the microphone looks like it's on and activated, and Twitch is running. Nobody's watching, I'm sure, but, you know, if there is someone watching, hello to you. See, Nick, now, I don't even have to, like, stop what I'm doing. Just pick up another... Keep going. I imagine it's probably... Almost morning. 
And I think we can put some of this cobble to use. Man, really hope to hit a cave or something, especially in extreme hills. This is probably extremely boring to watch, so let's go see if uh, it's daytime yet. clear off the blocks on top so I don't I can kind of go up and down without hitting the head, the old head on the ceiling I have a lot of little particular quirks about my Minecraft style of play a lot of like little things that I like done in certain ways um you know if you've watched any of my other Minecraft videos you know that from a long time before joining the Polycraft crew, I played a lot of survival single player, not hardcore, but definitely played um, a lot of just single player games, and so developed almost sort of a role playing kind of style to how I play, very kind of particular about how things get done. Like for instance, not building like sp XP spawners and stuff like that, because like I guess at the time I consider that sort of cheaty and I mean I guess I sort of still considered in some ways kind of going against the spirit of well it's sort of hard to say what it would be against the spirit of Minecraft because it's sort of all about exploiting the world any way you can but it goes against sort of the mind the naturalistic sort of survivalist kind of uh, perspective Okay. Ooh, an emerald. That's okay. I'm just gonna leave that there. I have absolutely no use for an emerald at this point. More coal. But what I really need is iron and other good good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Now we have to go back up because. Should have brought a crafting... Oh, I guess I can just make a crafting table so I can... Really? All my bench... I didn't... I've already made a crafting table. I don't know why it's giving me the benchmarking. And that one. Didn't we already do that one? Getting an upgrade? Weird. Okay. Welp. Whatevers. Oh, look, a cave. Okay. Well, let's be extremely careful and remember that we are on hardcore mode. And every decision we make is life or death. So with that in mind, here's some lava. I see some redstone, which is of little use to me. Really need some iron. Any kind of... Okay. Do this. Oh, there's some iron, but it's going to be a little bit difficult to get to. I think we're fairly safe in here, in this little enclosed space, though. Oh, look, there's some more, too. Yeah, I have no problem covering this up with... up with cobble is no problem. Just have to be careful. Okay. 
Same deal here. Let's try to be careful about it. And use this iron to make a pick, probably, and uh, maybe even some armor, possibly. A pick, a sword, and armor, I would say, would be the most important things to get right away. So, where's our little spot here? Okay, this can be kind of our access point to the underground situation. Feeling pretty safe. I feel like it's. We'll put another torch there, but I think that's about as safe as it could possibly be down here. Eh, we'll get him back for that. I'm curious again if anybody's ever watching me. It's not really worth checking. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Let me just see. I am just still doing a lot of experimenting with Twitch these days, so I'm kind of going back and forth and trying to uh, make sure that things look good on the stream end of end, end of stuff. Oh, my leg is falling asleep here as well. Ah! Uh, oh, I got the pins and needles. Ah. Yikes. Yeah, I would say it's not quite totally full screen, but I think it's close as it can get. I don't know. Alright, we'll go back to the dashboard there. Ah, and stop messing around with Twitch, because no one's watching, doesn't matter. Ow. Yeah, sorry everybody, my leg has really gone to sleep quite badly. Ah, oh, man, that, that's painful. In a weird way. Alright, any mobs around? Nope, no mobs around. Um... <laughs> That was a little reckless right there. Let's see, let's plant our other two seeds here. We haven't actually killed any mobs yet, which is a little bit surprising. We can, however, harvest some of these guys. I hear lava. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't need lava. I don't need to be around lava. So we'll just, you know, try not to think about it for right now. Okay. Now, what do we need to do next? Um, I guess one thing... Oh, you know, I just realized, don't chickens... Chickens use seeds now to breed, not wheat. Hmm. I believe if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, that just takes forever. So that's something to keep in mind, I think. Um, okay, I think what we want to do is start trying to establish a more permanent base of operations. And I'm liking this little island, uh, island thingy. Out here, I feel like this could be easily fortified and turned into something a really defensible structure quite easily. Um, I should be going back and smelting. And it's almost totally square too, which is nice. It's going to be kind of handy. Okay, so... I don't really need 
that. Let's use these blocks however I see fit. And let's see, let's go in one, two, three, four. And I'm just sort of outlining a preliminary, you know, four. I like it to be nice and high. One, two, three, four. Let me just eat a little bit. pretty basic at first, but hopefully we'll be able to make this into a strong fortification. Kind of like a, yeah, kind of like a keep, or like a, oh, there is my indicator to pause and pause the video and take a small break. I'll be back in just a second. 